What's up guys, we're back again with another video and today I'm gonna to be showing you my full stretching routine that I use to prevent any injury. All you're gonna need for this stretching routine is a band and a pull-up bar. So let's begin. Let's start with the first thing I do every single time I come to the park or work out at home. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to dead hang. You should be doing dead hangs before each and every workout. Not only do dead hangs decompress your spine, but they also provide a full body stretch, so aim anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute before each and every workout. Next up, you have the band stretch. So you're gonna take both ends of the band, hold your arms out in front of you, and press it down to your chest. You're going to do this 10 times. Banded stretches are great for opening up your traps and making your shoulders mobile. After this stretch, you're going to do the same thing, but instead you're gonna go all the way around. So you're gonna bring your shoulders up and back into your chest and around. Make sure to strain your arms at the end. Next up, you have banded head touches. This is great for warming up the lateral part of your shoulder. Next, you have the rotator cuff stretch. You're going to tie your band, stand parallel to the band, Keep your elbow in and rotate your arm outwards. Do this five times for each arm. Another great all around shoulder move is where you tie your band, have your shoulder raised parallel to the floor, elbow at a 90 degree angle, and then raising it nice and slow. You're going to do this five times for each arm. Probably one of my favorite dynamic warm-ups is skin the cat. Your first skin the cat is going to be done with the pronated grip, where your palms are facing away from you. You're going to bring your knees up to your chest, spin all the way around, and hang for no more than 10 seconds. After you do this three times, you're going to do the same thing, just with the supinated grip, where your palms are facing towards you. Repeat this three times. Next up, we got the full shoulder twist movement. You're going to grab the bar with one arm and spin all the way around till your shoulder stops you from going. Do this four times for each arm. For an amazing lower back and hip stretch, you're going to bring your legs up to the bar, hang them over and drop down. You're going to do these mini crunches and you'll feel your lower spine, hips, and pelvis open up dramatically. Another great mobility movement on the pull-up bar is the hamstring and hip compression movements. You're going to touch the bottom of the bar with your feet, extending all the way down, focusing on your hamstrings and lower back. From that position, you're going to bring your legs to your face, providing another all-around great mobility movement. Repeat this five times. Moving on from the lower body, another major factor in preventing all injuries is warming up your wrists before your workout. Start off with placing your palm all the way down the floor and leaning gently up and down. Repeat this five times, but for each time, change the position of your wrists. Another way to open up your back and hips is sitting down and turning from side to side, holding the final position for five seconds. Repeat this for the other side as well. You're going to finish off with scapula shrugs. Do this by hanging from the bar and engaging your scapula, pulling down your lats and shoulders. After this mobility routine, you're ready to move on to any and all workouts. So as you know, like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I live inside my own world of make